All the experiences of the people are sitting and attending this meeting and to set goals for a common strategy to fight against the burden of colorectal cancer across the Atlantic. I think that it's very important to set goals primarily and to concentrate all the resources we have to uh, reach and to bring up our goals. What are these goals? For the people, I think, to get screened, as we heard it from, my, from my previous speaker. For the disease to be prevented and for us to scope, for us, the physicians, the providers, to scope and to scope and to scope. <laughs> and I think all these goals are first ranked on every level. But the question is, how can we accomplish these goals? And I think it should be a call for action, a call for action in order to bring the people to go to screening. That's one of the goals of this meeting today. And for the disease to be eradicated and not to, to suffer people. And in order to provide efficient services in screening for colorectal cancer. But how can we be highly efficient? I think that's to provide the highest attainable standard of quality in screening colonoscopy. You heard these issues by the previous speaker in this morning. If I've been for a sabbatical in Harvard, Harvard School of Public Health in Boston, every morning if I have gone to class, I go to this wall and I see these letters written in this wall. The highest attainable standard of health is one of the fundamental rights of every human being. And I think colonoscopy is one of these highly standardized health care services we have. In the past, we have learned a lot of quality assurance in medicine from our pioneers in quality management in healthcare, like Ernest Codman and the Vedis Donobedian. Codman was the father of the outcome quality research. As a surgeon, he was not well known from his society for this. And the Vedis Donobedian, the father of the paradigm of the elements of quality in healthcare structure, process, and outcome quality. For a long time, colonoscopy was regarded as the undoubtedly accepted gold standard for the exploration of the colon. Recently, some study results called the colonoscopy in question as a gold standard, as you see here from the headline of the New York Times some years ago. The answer followed immediately by David Lieberman, he called to action for measuring the quality of colonoscopy, as he pointed out in his presentation. And it's very crucial to measure the quality of the endoscopy as a technical procedure and the endoscopist as well. Quality management has substantial influences on our daily procedure doing. And this is a definition of the quality management, means that managing of all procedures, accountability, and resources to achieve a high quality of healthcare services, and this includes screening colonoscopy. Some parts of these quality management uh, are performance measurements, process control, like infection control, Quarter data management and continuous quality improvement. I want to throw your attention to quality data management that's crucial to have evidence, evidence from all that we're doing in colonoscopy. If you are looking at the elements of healthcare quality, we have to consider the dimensions of structure, process, and outcome quality. Besides others, for colonoscopy, these are technical pers personal equipment competency and maintenance of a competency, hygiene and reporting and documentation, and for process quality completeness, it's a very important factor, preparation and visibility and withdrawal time, which we learned it's very important for the de detection rates of adenoma and the precursor, pre-malignant precursor of the colorectal cancer. 
for outcome quality, it's important to have a reduced no-show rate because if the people are go don't go to, to screening, we cannot screen them, so they have to come to screening. And we have to consider adenoma detection rates. As you have seen, that's an international, very good comparable rate of adenoma detections. The US, UICC stages, the complication rate, the patient satisfaction, I think that's important too because uh, people are going to screening are healthy people. And if they consider to go to a screen, they, they have to be satisfied by the procedure they have undergone. And continuous quality improvement and feedback is important as well. The effects of quality assurance are really depicted here. Quality assurance creates confidence. And confidence creates acceptance. So if we are succeeding in having a functional quality assurance, we can create more acceptance by creating confidence. Um, some of our own studies that we have done in last year in Bavaria, and you sh I show you here uh, a poster which was, which was presented in the DW 2004. <coughs> This study shows us that uh, in the first study done 2002, we checked the contamination rate of endoscopes after they had been disinfected. And you can see that these endoscopes has contamination rates roughly of about 75%. That's a highly contamination rate after disinfection procedures. And the second study, was uh, conducted after implementation of a mandatory hygiene control system in Bavaria at the ambulatory level. And you can see that the contamination rate drops dramatically to 6 to 5 percent. This shows that quality assurance or quality control is effective. Completeness of the colonoscopy may dramatically contribute to colonoscopic effectiveness. As you've seen in this slide from the recent published study from Ontario, from Baxter, that the left-sided colon could be prevented, the mortality could be reduced by colonoscopy, but not the right-sided colon, uh, colon cancer. So these results may argue that Ineffective colonoscopy, perhaps incomplete uh, colonoscopy, contributes to these results. So completeness is very crucial. Completeness has some factors which influences these uh, uh, efforts to complete a colonoscopy. One is experience. Some data shows that experience more than nine years is very helpful to have a constantly highly rate of completeness. The procedure volume, which is still in this discussion, is it 200, is it 500 years a, uh, a year? The clean colon is very, very important. So we are discussing about the, the preparation uh, programs to have a highly effective preparation with clear, visible colons. The setting is important, academic versus hospital or office. The ac academic centers have higher completeness rates than the office-based. And a specialty. Gastrologists are more successful in completing colonoscopies than surgeons or primary physicians. Here I show you some of our, our results, which has, we have presented at ISQA Journal uh, uh, two years ago. It's a little bit complicated. You, say, you see the dotted lines are the um, predicted completenesses, and the, uh, the, full, the filled lines are the observed completeness. And you see like between the circles and the, the, the rectangles, there's no difference between male and female. But it's difference between the clean colon and the dirty colon. And it's a difference between the ages more than 60 and the ages beyond 20. So age and the, the preparation quality have a very high influence on completeness of the colonoscopy. In Germany, we have 
since 2002, introduced a quality pro a program, screening program by colonoscopy. And with the program of, uh, for screening colonoscopy, we have introduced a quality assurance program. This quality assurance is uh, done by licensure for performing screening. The providers who want to uh, perform colonoscopy had to be board licensed. They had to uh, certified by more than 200 total colonoscopy in the previous two years. And it, would be, it will be checked what the technical equipment in, in these offices is. And it's a mandatory photo documentation of the total colonoscopy and the quality of preparations by the documentation of three indicators. And it's a mandatory online reporting system for all the results of the screening colonoscopy. And in Bavaria, we have an online re reporting documentation system for the uh, uh, diagnostic colonoscopies as well. So we have in Bavaria the possibility to document all colonoscopies which have been done uh, in the last two years. And it's a benchmark provided because the people who get their online documentation, they will be examined by a sample of 20 patients which were chosen by the authority. And by these photo documentation of these patients, we will check whether they had approved the, the total completeness examination of the colonoscopy. If they failed, if they have more than 10% not proving the total the completeness, they should be undergo an another examination. And, this, and when this fails twice, they, they uh, license for, uh, for performing colonoscopy will be withdrawn. So quality assurance support safety. And safety is a very crucial point for the confidence and effectiveness of colonoscopy. Because if you have a safe procedure, you can avoid adverse events. And the problem of adverse events for healthy people is very, very important. So from the data we have uh, in, in the sample of the national sample of our registry, for the screening colonoscopy, we have seen that the complication rates are constantly low over the la last five years. And you see here all the types of complication which can occur uh, in colonoscopy. The, most, co the, the uh, most often complications are natural bl uh, bleeding and bleeding after polypectomy. It's seldom to have perforation, but they still, they still happen. And the cardiopulmonary resuscitation or problems with, with the uh, sedation are still a problem we have. So we have a recommendation that uh, if colonoscopy is done under sedation, you have to have a second physician who can control the sedation procedure. A very important factor for quality assurance is benchmarking benchmarking by feedback. And in, in Bavaria, we have an electronic uh, system who gave us every three months a feedback on different quality indicators. And you see here a sample. That's a sample of three indicators. Uh, the, uh, the, in, in, the, in the upper part are the, the rate of the patients with a hereditary or familial risk. The second is the completeness. And the last one is the complication rate. And yes, you see, the, the yellow bars represent the total rate of Bavaria, the statewide uh, complication rate, uh, for example. And the blue one represents my own practice. So I show you my own data here. Um, that's transparency. Quality assurance refers to transparency. And you see, you can see after three months where your own quality level li lies and where you have to be and become better than the average. So let me conclude. Quality assurance of colonoscopy results in highly efficient performance with increasing confidence, with increasing acceptance, with increasing completeness of colonoscopy, and increasing effectiveness through decreasing mortality. And 
with increasing safety. German experience shows a functioning quality assurance of screening colonoscopy, which achieve and maintain a high quality performance. Feedback reporting, I think, is crucial that people who are performing these procedures can have a benchmark for their own quality. I think further cost effectiveness analysis should be done to check what the resources are, are needed for further colonoscopy screening. Thank you for your attention. And the last slide show you our Patroma Bavaria, which overlooks the Wiesen. And uh, the Wiesen is the place where the Oktoberfest takes place every year. So perhaps we will see you next time to Oktoberfest in Munich. Thank you.